<laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Raúl. How are you? Fine. How was your day today? And let me see. Well, mm -hmm. today, yeah, I think it was a, a very good day. I don't, I didn't. I didn't, huh? I didn't have a lot of work, so. Hey, that's nice. That's nice for this, this way. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I mean, it was, a, it was a nice and easy day. Yeah, it is good when there's not like too much to do. But yeah. it's curious, right? Because in some cases you say, mm, or maybe I didn't do something or I am forgetting something or what's going on. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah it's very curious when when you when you didn't have a lot of work because uh -huh. the next day of or... or the, the uh, days to come are crazy. Uh, yeah. Another day uh, will be uh, Double. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah, I, there are some some days on which I am I am in the academy and, and I see and, and I see things like too easy, right? And I say like, mm. <laughs> ¿Está olvidando algo o no ha hecho algo? Ajá, ¿O qué pasa? ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué es este ballet cómico <laughs> extraño? <laughs> yeah, or 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 when, for example, like it's what it's. 7 30 or 8 and the teachers are not asking anything and i said hmm curious I said. <laughs> <laughs> and i go and i go to each room and i said like is everything okay do you don't need anything it's like no 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 miss everything is fine and i'm like hmm. <laughs> strange <laughs> <I said. laughs> yeah so these days are, are very they are, they are nice because maybe we are too busy doing everything that in some cases when the days are easy we feel that mm, we need the stress in our lives yes. <laughs> I've, been <laughs> I've been there <laughs> ah, yeah i have been there before <laughs> and i am like mm, where, where is my stress it's too mm. easy right now yeah or when my boss appears smiling and happy and i'm like mm, what did i do <laughs> Yeah, hacíamos un chiste en un, en un lugar que trabajábamos que era un poquito un poquito tóxico, ¿verdad? Entonces cuando cuando el, el jefe bueno cuando la jefa llegaba contenta decíamos va me van a echar decía <risa> ya nos van a dar bocado decía ya me tengo I mean yo sé que Dios siempre nos saca de los lugares tóxicos <risa> pero bueno. I work I I work in 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 a job like similar <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was very horrible but thank god i mean i'm talking about jobs now <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for being at, uh, on this introduction to the topic mr magdiel welcome blanquita jose luis paola good evening Chara. good evening it's a pleasure to have you here yeah, it's me too yeah so we were talking about this beautiful job environment that we sometimes have that you say like what am i doing here right but in some cases you go to work to a different place and everything is so nice that even you feel strange right that's like the contrary when they listen to you when they take you into account when you are important to the company and you feel like is this for real is de veras me está pasando este it is nice, right? If you are in a company that appreciates you, uh, appreciate your company. Well, teacher, welcome. Yes? Are you a teacher during the day? I am a principal. Soy oh. directora de un, de un centro de estudios. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, I am a teacher, yes, the, during, during the night. <laughs> Uh -huh. I am a teacher at night and during the day I am a teacher as well because I have been helping that I have to help the teachers I have to uh, create the classes I have to organize the classrooms I have to do all the the other okay. side of the of the work ahí estamos durante el día trabajo con los teachers hacemos planning hacemos clases organizamos grupos so it's a lot of 
other thing, but I really enjoy teaching. So the, the night for me is nice. I have other uh, students that are like in, in private classes, but it's, it's nice. I have these students and I have all my students from eight to 10 that are the most important, right? So all of you. Okay. Good. Yes, so I, I do enjoy it. I really like it. Creo que lo he disfrutado por estos 19 años de mi vida y lo sigo disfrutando todos los días. To teach. Well, so welcome to your class. Welcome to another day. It's a pleasure to have all of you here and uh, to see that all of you are fine now, that you are getting better of the flu. Después de esta ola que no golpeó de gripe a todos. Ya estamos recuperados. Ya están de pie. Zero kills. So, okay. Todos bien. Ese es el significado de okay. Ya lo sabían. Vea. Okay. Era zero kills. So, ningún muerto. Yeah, and, I see. I see and, that in, in, in a TikTok. Yes. And, <laughs> and they say like, okay, okay. Because the, when, when they were, when they used to communicate during the war, they used to say, okay, it's like zero kills. It's like, no ha muerto nadie, right? So right now we are okay <laughs> after this COVID session, COVID flu that we had, but it was, it was nice. So that's the meaning of zero kills. It's curious. It's like in, in Spanish, when you say like on the neck, te van a dar en la neck, you say. It's like <laughs> the back. Yeah, we adapt a lot of things. The most curious thing that we have adapted is the la cora. La cora, el, el, la moneda. Because it's a quarter of dollar, right? But people have difficulties to say a quarter of dollar. So they say quarter, quarter, cora. The cora, digamos. And ahí andamos por el mundo diciendo cora. <laughs> it is difficult, but it's okay. It's like fucsia. The color, many people say, ah, it's fucsia. They say, and the color in English, it's called fuchsia. Fuchsia, but people say fuchsia. <laughs> ah, you see, the, it's like this this color, the, the pink one. And they say, ese, ese color fuchsia, paseme. And I say, it's fuchsia, fuchsia. Ah, ah, it's too difficult, they say. <laughs> and they don't use it. So we have a lot of false cognating, a lot of false friends that we use from English. So my dear class, we're going to start today. Yesterday, I asked you to work a little bit on your profile, on your profile in the book, right? I don't know if you had the chance to, uh, to work on it. Let me share my screen for us to go back here, right? Um, I don't know if you had the chance to complete your profile for work. If not, you can do it uh, right now because we are going to use it. And um, in this uh, section of the, of the manual, it's page 31, you have to create your profile form, right? With the name of your job. I mean, el, el titulo con el que están contratados, the work location, where do you work? In which department? It is not the department of San Salvador, La Libertad, no, right? The department, it's like the office that you work at. Who do you report to? What is, if it is full-time or part-time? Your essential duties or responsibilities? And what is your education or work experience to be on this area, right? Because in many of the cases, right, it happens, right? Like in my area, in teaching, in English teaching, you have science teachers who teach English. And I mean, a requirement is that you know English, that you have a little bit of background in the English language for you to teach English, right? Pero aquí en El Salvador pasa esto. What is your employee, the employee's name, right? That will be your, your name. I don't know if, if any of you has it. Alguno tuvo la oportunidad de completarlo, chicos? Yes or no? No or yes? Uh -huh. Manitas, no? Uh 
o fueron bien considerados que lo querían hacer conmigo, vea. Ustedes lo querían hacer en clase. Dios, no, con la teacher, más bonito. It's correct. <risa> más bonito por cualquier cosa me ayuda, dice. Ok. <risa> Hasta ahí llego. Ok. Well, eh, let's do it then. If you didn't do it, let's do it right now. If you can uh, work on the PDF, if you can edit your PDF, you can do it on the manual. If not, you can just answer the questions on your book or on a paper, on a page, okay? Si pueden editar su manual en el PDF en su computadora, háganlo ahí de una vez. Si no, vayan poniendo solo las respuestas en su cuaderno. Because each of you is going to read your profile form. Así cada quien me puede leer su perfil. Ya una vez lo tengan terminado. Okay, so we are going to work on that right now. Because we need to do it. Open your manual. It's on page 31. The name of your Teacher, job. I have a question. Yes, when you talk about work location, uh, a qué se refiere? Okay, in this case, uh, in the work location, you can say, for example, where is your office uh, located? You can say, where, where is it located? But it is not the one that you need to, um, the one that you need to be careful is the one that says department because it is not the department of El Salvador. It's the department of the, the one on which and you work. What's an example for what location? Okay, what work location? location, in my case, I will say job title, uh, English teacher. Work location, uh, San Salvador, I can say. Okay. Where do I work, right? Where is the office located? A department, it is not like La Libertad, San Salvador, no, right? Department, accounting, sales, um, I don't know, business, administration, human resources. In which department of the office do you work, right? Uh, yes, Mr. Anthony? Teacher. Yes. Reports to. Okay, reports to. You can do the two. You can do two things. For example, uh, here, uh, I don't need the name of the person because maybe we don't know it. But here, you can say reports to the manager, reports to the supervisor, reports to the to the boss, right? Directly to the boss. Porque si ahí me pone to Juan Manuel Pérez. Who's he, right? Y ese quien es peor. Tal vez lo conozco, tal vez no. So in that case, um, I am going to do my example, okay? Voy a hacer el mío para que ustedes lo puedan ir viendo. Okay, I am going to do this one, okay? This is my title, English teacher, right? The work location, I am going to say San Salvador. Uh, in the department here, here I am going to say education. Education. Reports to uh, this. Here I am going to say the head teacher. Okay, the head teacher is como el teacher principal del grupo. It's full time, right? It's full time. My essential duties and responsibilities. I will say to plan classes, to teach uh, for the groups, and to keep records of grades. Okay, that those are three responsibilities that I have. Education and work experience requirements. I need to have for sure a bachelor's in language, in languages. Uh, I need to have teaching experience. And for sure, good human, what relationships. Okay. Those are three requirements that I need. The employee's name. 
Evelyn Natalie. Monterosa, that is my name and for sure the signature. I will do my signature here. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da. Something like that. <laughs> okay. So I just invented my signature there. Very horrible one. I'm going to erase it. And then you go. Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay. So that's my profile. So you see, it was very easy to create in a very simple form. Right. So this is what you need to do with your professional profile. Something simple, right? Three, four things. Don't complicate your life that much. Is it clear now? Hoy si ya nos quedó claro qué es lo que estamos haciendo. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes, que sí, teacher. Yes, que sí. Okay. My sister, when yeah. you live in the United States, uh, um, and my brother come back here, then. yes, que sí, brother. Yes, que sí. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is very good. But um, maybe because there was a lot of Mexican influence where he was. Where my, my sister will go to the Italian. Uh -huh. buongiorno. buongiorno, carissimo. <laughs> yeah, but in the place where I was, it was only English. There was no Spanish influence, right? Yo creo que más allá de arruinarme lo me ayudó. <laughs> me me moldeó más el, el inglés. It was it was nice. But if, for example, in cases when people go, for example, to New York, to Miami, to Los Angeles, that are a lot of Mexican people, that is where the, the English language ruins because they mix up everything. So you need to be very careful with the Spanglish things. When you practice your English, be careful not to not to use Spanglish. Porque eso arruina todo lo demás. Es que mira, o sea, how can I tell you? Es que, o sea, it's so difficult, ¿verdad? Es que no sé qué. And it's like English or Spanish, but don't mix it. <laughs> it. It happens when you are like near the call centers. Cuando uno está ahí por los call centers comprando comida o algo. They say like, es que mira, o sea, how can I tell you? It's like so, so very difficult and everything. Es que mira, o sea, te explico, ¿eh? And then they are just like mixing. I say like, hablen bien, bicho. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I would like to tell them, but I just look at them and analyze them. I don't say anything. And is it the, the, the English Cajera in the United States? No, but at least they, they speak English, English. But here it's like just to pretend that they sound nice. That is killing the language. That it's killing the language, exactly. I have a friend that uh, he knows English, right? He knows English very well. But when he sees me and he's like, <gasps> oh, hi, good morning. And, and he speaks very loud for people to listen that he can speak English. And I speak with him and I was like, yo le doy cuerda también. I speak a lot with him and he's like, ah, oh, yeah, huh, huh. Pero habla bien duro, o sea, porque todos los que estén alrededor le escuchen. And, I, and in some cases, I just stop by to talk to him. So he feels very happy. I love to, to have him practicing. Okay, my dear class, did you finish your profile? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. I don't know where around my house, but there is a mariachi here. Good. People are very happy around here. Okay, so. Uh, have your profile ready. We're going to practice it a little bit. How are you going to present it? How are you going to present your profile? You are going to say, for example, here, you are not going to read it. You're not going to say job title, English teacher, work location, San Salvador. No. So you are going to say, I am an English teacher. I work in San Salvador in the Department of Education. I report to my head teacher. I have a full-time job. Some of my responsibilities are these, these, this, and this. Um, my education and work experience, well, I have a bachelor's degree, I have a lot of teaching experience, 
And for sure, I have very good human relationships. Thank you very much. I am Natalie Monterosa. So that's the way you present your uh, profile, right? Your professional profile. You are going to practice first. You are going to practice first with two more classmates, and then you are going to present for the class. Your, your um, professional profile, okay? You're going to do it first with your group, then you're going to do it for the class, okay? Practice it in a very simple way. I am an English teacher. I work in San Salvador in the Department of Education. I report to my head teacher. I have a full-time job. Some of my responsibilities are uh, this, 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 and this. And my educational experience is this one. Thank you very much. I am, and you give me your name, okay? That's what you are going to be doing. Right now, you're going to practice with your group, and then we are going to come back and present for the class. Okay, Capici? Capici. Let's go and do it. Capici. Capici. <laughs> Let's go to practice. Okay, okay. There you have your invitations. Go and join the groups so we can practice. Okay, accept my invitations, please. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Antonio, le llegó la invitación. No, eso estoy esperando. Okay, lo vamos a mover entonces. Me avisa. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Okay, I am going to give some minutes for them to set up and start preparing their professional profiles. Then they are going to come back and present to the class. We are going to be visiting the different rooms to see how they are doing. Well, uh, my job titles is a graphic designer. I I work. I am work location in uh, advertising uh, in agency publicities and department of marketing. And I report to my 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 boss in in the department and i am full time in my essential duties and, res and responsibility have make uh, let me see the name ah make uh, calendars is a is a is a kind of of name a calendar of graphic design or, or make designers. And let me say, sometimes I, I, I have to do uh, videos. Yeah. yeah, a little videos or, or short videos for, for social media. And my education and work experience uh, has, I, I study in in the Caldone and I I have a bachelor in graphic designer at, you know, at, at Don Bosco University and my employer name is Raul Gonzalez. Okay. Good, good. You survive. <laughs> you were the first one. <laughs> It is, it is not necessary to say, for example, my job title, title, that's the word, title. 
Ah, okay. And uh, uh -huh. you say, uh, you can say just like the first thing, I am a graphic designer, right? You just just go with the job title. What is your job title? Currently, well, in the past was graphic designer, but currently is a UX designer. It's like a user experience designer. It's a, another career. Okay, the user experience designer. Yeah. <laughs> so you can say, I am a user experience designer. Okay. Just exactly like that. And then you go and, and you say, for example, let me see, I will assign Juan Francisco. And, and then you go straight with the next part. So you say, I am a user experience designer. I work in, uh, what, what is your answer for the second, the second section? Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> your location, the part, location. department. Huh? But, but is the, the part of the, is, is the name of, the, of, of my job or in a specific area? You can, you can use either of them. I mean, the information, it's, it's okay. You can use any of them. Ah, I, so I work in Banco Cucatlán, like okay. that? Okay, so okay. you can say I work at, I work at yeah, Banco Cucatlán. Okay, good. And then you can just go, like, if you are giving me the, the, the information. Imagínese que está como en una entrevista y me está contando. So you say, this is this, I work here, and this, and that. Because if you say, job title, user designer experience, yeah, work location. It's, it's, very well. <laughs> it's a very weird form. So try to do it a little bit normal. Try to go one by one. Pronunciation questions. What are words that are difficult for you to pronounce? Mm, let me see. Publicity. Yeah, That's publicity. Be because I, well, but this part is because I think in Spanish the 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 word and then I translate. <laughs> no, don't do that. Horacio, <laughs> which one did you say? So, siempre quiero decir agencias de publicidad. Digitales. And I see always in my mind, uh, agency, publicity, digital. <laughs> so, okay. But it, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, it's normal, but we need to switch it because if not, it will be a problem for you forever. <laughs> yeah. Trate, trate de armarlo siempre en inglés. Horacio mencionó algo, pero no le alcancé a captar. ¿Qué fue lo que me dijo? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice responsive? ¿Cómo ah, se pronuncia? Responsibilities. 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 Because you say I am responsible, but the the word is responsibilities, right? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. Okay. Yes, publicity, marketing, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Design. Okay. Alexander, questions. Okay. Uh, no question for me. Ah, okay. Question. Practice. Vamos al al lago de un solo a nadar. Go. Okay. Um, I am a manager assistant. Systems uh, manager. System manager, sorry. Uh, uh, for location uh, of my job is in San Salvador. Okay, I work in San Salvador. I work in, in San Salvador in the department of spare parts. Mm -hmm. uh, I report to a spare, par a spare parts manager. Uh -huh. And my work is full time. Uh, so my responsibilities is a... Uh, uh, my responsibilities you... are, si me va a decir más de una, my responsibilities are, are uh, uh, logistics of lubricants department mm -hmm. and, and I, I management the, I manage, the, I manage the uh, claims to fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my name is Rafael Serna. Okay, nice to meet you, Rafael. Good. So at the end you say like, so I am Rafael Serna. So you say, good. <laughs> Let's work a little bit on the confidence. Yo creo que todavía les da miedo. Yo. Es, es normal. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, the name of employer is correct, say, at the end or is no the good the good thing is at the beginning right but right now we are creating impact <laughs> it's okay. like esto es lo que hago 
I am Natalie de Flores, right? At the end. Okay. Not the good. I mean, in a in a real environment, you do it at the at the beginning, right? You do it at the beginning and you say like, well, hello, nice to meet you. I am Natalia de Flores. I am an English teacher, blah, 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 blah. And you do it like that in a real environment. Aquí el, el diseño fue el raro. But it's normal. Okay, Mr. Horacio. Okay. Hi. Welcome. Um, I am business manager and I work in, in Antiguo Cuscatlán mm -hmm. uh, in of the finance and accounting department. Uh, I report to general manager uh, full time. I work and full time. Uh -huh. responsi my responsibilities and direct the business lines and leasing, sales, and technical assistance and create the annual budget and evaluate new projects. Nice. Um, my experience uh, mastering finan financial administration. Financial, uh, financial. Financial administra uh, uh, administration. Uh -huh. and system and, and computing engineering. Mm -hmm. And I work at graphic, graphic Copics and now in didactic. Okay, good, very good. Practice once again. Okay, ya queda un poco más shaped. Yeah, you can practice to make it fluent. Okay, good. I'm going to check on the other kids. Uh-huh. That's all. You did it. You practiced. You are ready. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's see. Veamos. Hagamos una, una demo. A demo. Okay. Who? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So the next one on the line, please, Nelson Alberto. Uh -huh. Why me? <laughs> because you are only four. <laughs> okay. okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm talk about the job profile, mm -hmm. uh, job title, IT security manager, work location, San Salvador, department, uh, technology. Reports to security coordinator. Uh, full time, yes. Essential duties and responsibilities. Keep the secure IT infrastructure of the company free from threats. No sé si ahí sería from libre. Threats? No. Yeah, free from threats. That's correct. Yeah, al principio, keep or maintain. Both are correct. Man maintain. 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 It's, yeah. Ah, ok, aquí tenía la duda si keep o... Both, o both are correct. Both are correct. Ah, ok. Attend issues in servers, attend requirements of users, etc. Education and work experience requirements, uh, bachelor's in system engineer, mm -hmm. uh, for years in the area. Employee name, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Ok. That's all. Ok, good. The information is perfect. But I feel like if Google is reading it for me. Siento que Google me la está leyendo. So you say, hello, I, well, I am Nelson Alberto. Oh. I am this and this. I, am, I work on this one, my, on this department. I work, I work on this area, right? Try to make it uh, like friendly. Like if you are telling me that. Yeah. Because if you say job title, this one. Location, this one. Workplace, this one. So try to make it like if you are telling me. Imagine that we are in an interview. Okay. Que en una entrevista okay. le digo, okay, tell me about your job profile. Tell me about your professional profile. So I will say like, well, I am an English teacher. I work here. I, I work in the area of education. I always report to my head teacher. I have a full-time job. Um, some of the things that I do at the office or my responsibilities are this, 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 and this. I have a degree on this one. I have a bachelor's degree on this one. So try to make it friendly, okay? So okay. practice again. Yeah, ven you say, I'm ready, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, let's see, we are always... Anotado. We, <laughs> we need to shape it, right? Mr. Rafael Antonio, how would you do it? A ver, ¿cómo lo haría Rafael? Um, my job title is I am professional driver. Uh -huh. So, no me diga my job title. Porque okay. yes, job title, professional driver. So, you say, I am a professional driver. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I am a professional driver. Um, my work in San Jose, Second Brigada Area, CSL. Uh 
Zacatecoluca. Mm -hmm. uh, I report to my coordinator on transportation, full time my job. I work full time. I work full time. Uh, my 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 responsibilities. My, my responsibility is, is to check the car. I go to the uh, go go. I go to gas station. The car that my boss and the car was here in transportation. The personal to San Salvador, Comalapa, Comalapa, San Salvador. And my education spelling is the basic education. Basic education. Um, basic, basic education. 35 years the experience here, the driver. My name is Rafael Antonio Barrera. Good. So you say, I have 30 years of experience as a driver. Uh, I have 30, I, 30 I or 35 years of experience as a driver. So a driver. it was good. Practice, my dear group. I will come back in a moment, okay? Ya vuelvo. Ya los, los otros dos ya quedan practicando. Right? <laughs> Eric Engel Nilsson, practice, please. I will come back in a second. Facilities management. I report to my supervisor. Um, I have full time work. I have a full time job. Job. Full time job, and from seven a.m. to four forty-five p.m. And the essential duties and responsibilities uh, are: I have to check for the electrical generator and a fire pump every day. Also. I have to make preventive maintenance and correctives. And education and work experience requirement. I should to have experience in mechanical heavy and to also I should to drive many vehicles um um, and I have to experience in, of electrical generator and use the use the, the, the many tools, hands hands tools. Uh -huh. And my name is Magdiel Sagarcia. Okay. <laughs> good, good, Magdiel. It was good, a little bit mechanical, I felt it, right? It was like the work title, this one. The, the duties, this one. The education, this one, right? I should to have, no, you say like, I do this, 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 and this. Ahí no decimos, yo debería tener, no. Es lo que yo, yo tengo, right? Experience on uh, heavy vehicles, mechanics, um, hand tools, right? How to manage this drive a heavy vehicles, right? You point out the specific uh, experience that you have. And also in the in the uh, responsibilities, the things that you do, right? Some of my responsibilities are, and then you say this, 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 and this, okay? Okay. Okay, T imagine that you are telling me the information, right? Como que me estuviera compartiendo, así como, uh, imagine if I say work title, English teacher, this, this, and that. No, you say like, I am an English teacher. I work in San Salvador in the area of education. I have a full-time job. Some of my responsibilities are this, 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 and this. Uh, my educational background is the following. And I have a full-time job. Thank you very much. I am Natalie de Flores. So that's the way you have to do it. Así lo tienen que hacer como contándome un poquito. Let's see, Aleida, show me your example. Okay. Um... I am an account receivable prayer. Uh, my work is located in Ciudad de León. Uh, I work in the accounting department and I report uh, to my supervisor. Uh, I have a full-time position. Um, my, my, main, my main duties are attending coming calls and outbound calls. Uh, I collect money. Uh, I 
generate uh, reconciliations report, um, and I review bank prox proximities and the edu in my education and and work experience is a BA uh, BA de bachelor degree. A BA, uh -huh, you can say a BA. Uh, okay, All, only a BA. Okay, a BA, a accounting accounting experience and customer service experience. And okay. my name is Alei Damai. Very good. So that's it, it's a good a good example, right? All your information, Magdal, is very good, very correct. So try to make it a little bit more like a story thing, right? For you to 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 make it friendly, right? For people to listen to you. Y ahí ya nos vamos quitando un poquito el hecho de, de, de tenerlo como en inglés, español, inglés en la cabeza. Dice, ¿cómo lo digo? ¿Cómo lo hago? Si me lo está contando un poquito, se facilita un poco el hecho de quitarle lo robótico al idioma. Y ya lo hacemos como un poco más, más de disfrute. O sea, lo hacemos como que te lo estoy contando, te estoy compartiendo un poquito de mí. Y ya su idioma se va haciendo un poquito más limpio en el hecho de que ya... Ahí ya se siente que, que, que no lo está practicando en la cabeza, ¿verdad? sino que ya lo hace como más de conversación. ¿okay? Eso es como, por eso son las cositas que voy como haciendo el shaping ahí, para que su idioma se oiga un poco más fluido, más limpio, más, eh, más ordenado, no tan mecánico. ¿okay? Ahí estamos trabajando en eso. Good. Practice, Andrea. Practice, Juan Francisco. And I will come back in a moment. I am just missing one group. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, did you finish? Yes, um, teacher. teacher. Okay, so yeah. let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's work then. Let's work. Wilbert, were you alone in the group? No, no. Okay. Uh -huh. I was... Me, perdón, me, me sacó del, del, del grupo y acabo de ingresar nuevamente. Ok, no don't worry. Problema, no sé qué problema me da, pero siempre a veces me saca del grupo. Ay, este internet tan mal creado. No, but I, I am not the one, ok. Es Zoom, es Zoom. Yo no saco a nadie. Zoom tiene la culpa. Pero que casi siempre cuando, cuando se vuelven a conectar, yo rapidito lo vuelvo a mandar a los grupos en los que están. Don't worry, Carlita. Pero siempre si les da problema o cualquier cosa, manden un mensaje rapidito que yo les resuelvo ahí. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, you had the opportunity to practice with your friends. You had the opportunity to be with your co-workers there practicing. So right now I am going to call each of you to the fire line here to the front and we're going to make it personal. I am going to receive the first uh, candidate aquí en estas entrevistas de trabajo. There we have our first candidate, Mr. Rafael Serna. Go ahead. Está on the spotlight. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, I am uh, assistant manager. Uh, I work in San Salvador and in general, in general, the equipos and and in of departments of spare parts. Uh, I report to spare parts manager and my my responsibilities are uh, logistic lubricants and and how do you say, uh, uh, claims to fabric. Uh, uh, so I, my name is Rafael Serna. 
Okay, very good job. Thank you, Rafael. Very nice. You did a good job. Reactions for your classmate people. Very nice. So when you say my responsibilities are logistics lubricants. So in this case, we have to be very careful. ¿Qué es lo que hace con las logísticas de los lubricantes? Check, review, analyze, study. Siempre tenemos que poner el verbo primero, vea. Así como eh, I am in charge of the logistics uh, for lubricants. I check the logistics. I uh, review. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos con esto? Sí, porque si decimos, my responsibilities are logistics lubricants. Huh. Yes. So you can say, I am in charge of the logistics for uh, shopping or getting, acquiring, reviewing. So, siempre tenemos que poner como eh, la actividad primero. But for the rest, it was very good. Great job. You did a good job. Thank you, teacher. Rafael, ¿quién sigue? Choose the next ah. victim. <laughs> eh, eh, Magdiel. Magdiel, ok. No sé, lo presenté. Good. Magdiel. Ok, I am going okay. to highlight Magdiel for everybody. Go ahead. Go, Magdiel. Ok, my job title. title. Is a mechanic of generator, and my and I work in Santa Elena, Libertad. Uh, my department is facilities management. I report to my supervisor. I have a full time job from 7 a.m. to 4:40 p.m. And my responsibility are check uh, electric generator every day and makes make uh, preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance check the equipment garden and my experience requirement to 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 my job is um, um experience with uh, engines engines and electric generators and use the use to uh, hand tooled and different equi equipments um, that is all my name is Magdiel Esa García. Thank you. Okay, nice job. Very good, very good. Reactions for Magdiel. <laughs> Los you. nervios, con nervios, pero lo logramos. Yes. That was very good. Okay, Magdiel, it was a very nice job. Pronunciation of equipment, right? Equipment mm -hmm. and electric generators. Eh, la misma observación que le hacía Rafael Alexander. You say, my experience, electric generators. Ajá, pero ahí que manage electric generators, fix eh, electric generators, review, use, ok, que es lo que, lo que hacemos con los generadores. So, that is important. Just add the verb there. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, Who's next, Magdiel? Next is Carla Flores. Carla Flores. Very good. Ok. Carlita, go ahead. Hola. Go ahead, Carlita. Te escuchamos. Okay. My name is Carla Flores. Um, I work in the receptionist um, of course center. Work location Santa Ana. Um, department administration. Perdón, dicho el estado cenando. It's okay, don't worry. Report to my turn, my my What do you say, supervisor, the supervisor of maintenance? Maintenance, maintenance supervisor. Maintenance supervisor. I work full time. Um, essential diet. Um, my responsibilities is um, reporter. Um, answer emails and calls. Um, update recept 
payments um, require my jobs, um, excellent customer service, uh, hand, hand, no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher, um, uso de Excel. Uh, you, you can say use, use Excel, manage Excel, um, to be handy in Excel. Okay. To use Excel, that's the most common one. Okay. Um, my name is Carla Flores. Very good job, Carla. Very good job. You see, you are being more fluent now. <laughs> Me alegra eso. I work in Santa Ana, I say. It's the maintaining supervisor. My responsibilities are. Si vas a decir más de una, my responsibilities are. Okay. This, 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 and this. Okay. Good job. Okay. Very good. Reactions for Carlita. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Carlita, who's next? Um, sigue? Tenemos a otro al ruedo. Quiero escuchar a la compañera que me gusta cómo habla. Aleida Esmeralda. Aleida. Sí. <laughs> Primero el piropo y después el balazo. <laughs> Aleida, go ahead. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Um, I am an account receivable clerk. Actually, I'm working to that Merleot in the accounting department. I reported to my supervisor. Um, I have a full-time uh, position. My main duties are attending coming calls and outbound calls. Uh, collect money and um, generate reconciliation reports and review bank proximities. Um, my educa the education and, and work experience is a BA degree, uh, accounting experience and customer service experience. And my name is Aleida Amaya. Excellent job, Aleida. I don't have any comment. It's a very good thing. You did a very nice job. Very fluid, very fluent, and very nice pronunciation. Very good reactions for Thank Aleida, you. people. Very good job. Aleida, who's next? Um, I am thinking in Ella Nilsson. Ella Nilsson, okay. <laughs> It's your partner all the time, so he has to be the next yeah, one. Yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> Thank Go you, Aida. <laughs> okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, this is my profile form. I am Air Marshal. My work location is in CSL Comalapa, La Paz. I'm in the Department of Operations. I report to Operations Manager. I work full time. Some of my essential duties and responsibilities are in charge of flyland, drive transport equipment, and drive security equipment. Check all about safety on all over. And my education and work experience is that I have a secondary education experience in air support equipment. And my name is Alan Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Very nice job, Alan Nilsson. Very good reactions for your friend. You say, I am in charge of. So that's the only thing that I have to comment. To say, okay. I am in charge of the security of this and this. That was very good job, Alan Nilsson. Very Thank nice. You. Who's the next one on the road? Okay, let me choose. Let me see, let me see. Okay, Nelson Alberto. Nelson, I don't know why I, I, I imagine. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, hello everybody. everybody. I'm hello. talking about my profile form. My name is Nelson Alberto Peraza. I work in technology department as a IT security manager. The company is located in San Salvador department. Um, I have a security coordinator and I report to him. And I have a full-time job. Some of my responsibilities and duties are 
keep the secure, secure IT infrastructure uh, of the company free from threats, attend issues in servers, I attend requirement of users, etc. I graduate of system engineer. I have four years of experience of experience in the area, and I hope to continue learning more. Very, very nice job, Nell. So you see, it was different. Thank now. you. Very yeah. good job. Very good job. It was different because now it's fluent. It's nice because you are telling me about you, right? Ya siento que sí estamos teniendo una conversación. It is not like this, that, I am this and that, right? You are not mechanic anymore. That was very nice. It sounded very good. Nelson, who's next? Um, Hernan. Hernan? And I don't know why I felt it. I, I, I don't know why I imagined. <laughs> Go ahead, Hernan. Okay. Um, and Joe uh, Tirol, uh, Warehouse Usman, uh, World Location, San Salvador, and uh, Ready, and uh, Department, Industrial Division, Report to uh, Management, and um, Part Time, uh, 8 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m., Essential Duties and Responsibility. Uh, Resale merchandise, uh, merchandise ordering, and merchandise output according to, to invoice, um, merchandise inventory report, and education and work experience, a requisement, and education high school and industrial, and work experience. Hand and power tool experience as um, technician and autom uh, automotive experience as um, technician and industrial mining uh, mining experience as technician employer name okay Mr Hernan. You're doing a better job now. I really like it. Ya ve cómo vamos mejorando, vamos mejorando. O ya son okay, las oraciones okay. completas, ya me cuento un poquito más. That's very nice. Ya no, ya lo siento que va agarrando un poquito más de confianza al momento de hablar. That's very good. That's very good, Hernán. Remember, try to make it a little bit more conversational. Right? I am this and this. I have experience on this one. I have this educational background. And everything, como que me lo estuviera contando, pues hacer un poquito más de conversación. Okay. okay. I am this and this. I work here. I work in San Salvador, right? To make it more fluid, but it was good. Pronunciation okay. of education, education, industrial high school, and management. Okay. Those are some pronunciation tips that I have for you. Yes, but very good job in general. It was very good. Thank you, Hernan. Very nice job. Who's next? Thank you. Can see you. La próxima víctima. <laughs> the next um, victim. Raúl González. Okay. Let's okay. see. No, let's see. There you go. Raúlito, go ahead. Hello there. Well, my name is Raul Gonzalez. Uh, I am a user experience designer. I am work at Banco Cuscatlan at, in San Salvador, here in El Salvador. Uh, and I work in a, a department called uh, as technology. In this department, uh, I report to my my boss and I am full-time. Uh, some of my duties and responsibility are uh, make brandings, uh, visual, desi visual design, uh, prototyping, uh, user 
user per, uh, no let me see usability testing and let me see another my 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 education was in uh, Don Bosco University I am a bachelor in graphic designer and that is all <laughs> <laughs> good, good, Raúl. You see, you did it better this time. It was a lot better. Ya ves, la segunda vez salió mucho mejor. So you say, I am work. Este no es posible porque tenemos dos verbos juntos. So you say, I work. Nada más. Ah, okay. Okay, I work. Eh, cold. It's not cold. Oh. It's cold. And I have a BA in this and this. But the rest, it was very good. Excellent job reactions for Raúl. Very good. Who's next? Uh, who's Miss? <clears throat> Mr. José Luis, <clears throat> Andrea, <clears throat> Paola, <laughs> Horacio, <clears throat> Blanquita. Uh, Rafael. <laughs> Rafael Antonio. Yes. Okay, Rafael Antonio will be. Good, good evening, guys. How are you? Hello. Um, I am professional driver. Uh, my work is CSL Second Brigade Area Comalapa, the department, uh, department transport department transportation. Uh, I am report to my coordinator transportation. I have full time my job, full time job. Uh, um, my responsibility, my responsibility is check the car, uh, car was the car, uh, transportation, the personal to San Salvador, Comalapa, Comalapa, San Salvador. Uh, my education is basic education. I am 30, 35 years the driver expiration. My name is Rafael Antonio Barrera. Okay, good, very good, Mr. Rafael. Nice, nice. Ya ve, ahora ya sus oraciones son más ordenadas. Ya las ideas son completas. That's very good. You are advancing a lot. That's very nice. Transportation department. You say transportation department. I report to my transportation coordinator, right? I wash the cars or I take the cars to the car wash eh, to transport personal, right? Basic, basic, the pronunciation of basic. And you say, I have 35 years of experience. I have 35 years of experience. But for the rest, it was good. Very nice, Mr. Antonio. Who's next? Can see. Uh, Blanca. Okay, Blanca, go ahead. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, my, I'm a collection agent. Uh, my work location is in, in San Salvador in the collection department and I report to my supervisor. I work uh, part-time from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, my essential duties and responsibilities are call clients, send emails and WhatsApp for, for remind them to go to pay and give, some, give someone a agreement and, and help someone to update the account. And uh, my, I have uh, five years of experience in this area and, uh, and my education is a, a teacher degree. And I'm Alejandra Portillo. Very good job, Blanquita, excellent. Uh, just a, a couple of questions, say, for reminding, no, you say to remind, to remind the clients about payments. The pronunciation okay. of area, and I have a teacher's degree. 
right? Okay. A teacher's degree. Good job. Very nice. Thank you. Reactions for Blanquita. And who's next? Eric. Mr. Eric Jose Hernandez. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, my name is Eric Hernandez. Uh, I am technical support and developer. Uh, I work in San Salvador City. Uh, <clears throat> my department is a IT department. Uh, I report reports to my boss. Uh, my job is full time. Uh, my essential that list and responsibility are my reports, attend customer, and develop system web. Uh, my education uh, is SF Agape uh, in between 2017 and 2018, software developer. Uh, I don't experience work. <laughs> I don't have, you say. I don't I have, have. I don't have experience work, work experience. I don't have work experience. But for the rest, it was good. Very nice, Eric. Thank you very much. Nice description. Uh, just two things on pronunciation: customers and uh, okay. web system. Uh, okay. Okay. There you go. Reactions for Eric. Thank you very much. Nice. Who's next, Eric? Mm, uh, Wilbur. Wilbur, go ahead. Wilbur will be. Okay. Action. <laughs> My name is uh, Wilbur Perez. I work in a security company. It's located in San Salvador. I belong to technician department. Uh, I report to my supervisor. Uh, I work uh, full time from Monday to Friday. Uh, some of my, of my responsibilities are uh, call the clients, do the routes, and receive the report, the reports. Uh, Um, I think that is all. Okay, nice, nice explanation, Wilbur. Very clear to the point. The only comment that I have is I belong to. So you can say I belongs to. Okay. Okay, I belong to. And then for the rest, it was very good. Reactions for Wilbur, very nice description. And who's next? Um, Horacio. Horacio, please. Hi, good, good evening. Um, I am business manager. Uh, I work in Antiguo Cuscatlan in finance and accounting department. And I report to general manager. Uh, my responsibilities are direct business line and leasing, sales, and technical assistance, and create the annual budget and evaluate new projects. Um, I, I, I studied um, system and company engineer and master in financial administration. Uh, I am Horacio Menendez. Very nice description, Horacio. Very good job. Okay, sorry, <laughs> very good job, Horacio. You did a fantastic job. The only comment that I have is studied. I studied, okay? That's the only pronunciation comment that I have. For the rest, you did it very, very well. Reactions for Horacio, please. Let's receive who? Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, good. Okay. 
I work in telemarketing. The location is in San Salvador. The location department is um, sales. I work full time. Uh, I report uh, to sales manager. My responsibilities are uh, take orders, promotion, and place the products, prospect new clients. Clients. I don't know. Clients. Uh, excuse me? Clients. Clients. Prospect new clients. Uh, the experience for this job is a bachelor in marketing, sales experience, and good human relationship. Very nice. Good human relationships. Excellent job, Paola. Very nice. Very nice description. Uh, the only comment that I have, responsibilities. My responsibilities, responsibilities. are and clients. Okay. Good job. Very nice. Reactions Thank for you. Paola, people. And next is Jose Luis. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> I am an accounting assistant. I work in San Salvador and I work in the financial department. I report to the accounting manager. Some of my responsibilities are make sales reports, make inventory report, organize and, organize and make commercial invoice, and present the taxes to the manager. Some of my education requirements are bachelor degree in marketing, I have experience in the area for three years, and I have knowledge using Excel, Word, and my name is Jose Ramos. Excellent, mister. Very fluid. I really like it. It was very fluid, very nice, well pronunciation, right? Very well pronounced. And the only observation that I have is the word requirements, requirements. But for the rest, you did a very good job. Congratulations, Mr. Reactions for your friend. Very good job. And we are missing, let's see. We are missing, vamos a ver quién se nos ha escondido. Andrea Sofía, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Andrea Benitez. Uh, my job is a content assistant, a social media manager. Uh, my work is an architect association in San Salvador, department accountant and marketing, and reports uh, my manager. And full time, uh, my responsibility my responsibility are and the make report for financial statement, analyze the KPI index in the social network and the payment suppliers and my education and work experience is um, seven years and a content assistant and a bachelor degree and responsibility person. Um, okay, good, good, Andrea. Very nice job. I really like that you sounded more confident. That's very good. And I just have a couple of comments. We say like, I am, uh, well, my responsibilities, you say the make of, say it, make reports or do reports or create reports, right? And check the payments. That's the only pronunciation issues that I got. And it was very nice reactions for your friend, Andrea. Very good job very good job juan francisco go ahead mr juan francisco and let me see who else am i missing besides juan francisco i'm at the juan francisco creo que ya pasamos todo vean and cesar que se nos acaba de unir no lo vamos a tirar al ruedo ahorita Mr. Juan, ¿me escuchas? ¿No me escuchas? Hello, sí. Hello, it's me. Hello from the other side. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got the joke. I, I really like it. Okay, no se me queda nadie ahorita. César, a César lo vamos a dejar primero mañana. Lo vamos a hacer que pase primero. For the rest, it was good. Nice oral evaluation exam, the one that we did, okay? Miren qué bonito examen oral acabamos de tener este día. 
It was like, yay. Si les hubiera dicho, vamos a hacer un examen oral en la noche. Así como, ¿qué? ¿Qué no sé qué? Eh, eh, eh. Hubieran paniqueado ahí. Se, eh. O sea, le hubiera bajado el azúcar, la presión, no sé qué. No estoy oxigenando, ticha. Eh, me muero. No. It was nice, normal, fluid. ¿Ok? That's the way the things should be, right? Si los hubiera espantado diciendo, les prepárense para el examen oral de la noche, it would be like, ni se hubiera conectado. Ay, teacher, tengo problemas de internet. Sorry. <laughs> y no se conecta. <laughs> But no, you did a very good job, people. You did a very nice job. <laughs> Paniqueado. Yeah, that's a very Salvadorian word, right? <laughs> yeah, como cuando mi papá me decía, al llegar a la casa vamos a platicar. <laughs> that was the panic moment, right? So we adopted from English. Hernán, tell me. Eh, sí, teacher. Tenía, bueno, más bien tengo una inquietud. Dígame. Eh, en nuestro ambiente, pues nosotros decimos bachillerato, ¿verdad? Eh, yo tenía un poquito de dificultad para ver eh, lo que es bachillerato industrial, o sea, Ajá. ¿cómo ponerlo? O sea, porque aparece como, si, si uno busca bachi, bachiller o bachillerato, aparece como because, laureate, algo así. Bachelorette. Ajá. No, bachelorette, y, ajá. Entonces, lo correcto no sé si era high school o, o, o esa otra expresión. O sea. Ok. Cuando uh, you say I have a, bat, a bachelorette, bachelorette es un nivel abajo de un bachelor. El bachelor es una licenciatura, es un estudio más alto. La bachelorette es como un certificado, un diploma de. But the most common thing is to say, like, I have, um, uh, I studied what? Accounting high school. Uh, mechanical high school, industrial high school, right? Okay. That's the most common expression. Instead of, I, I have a bachelorette in, it's a very complicated thing. It's good, it's correct, but it, it's better to say I have, a, well, I studied industrial high school. I studied accounting high school and I don't have anything related to accounting, right? Teacher. Hey, sure. Yes? Sorry that I interrupted that point. And when you study uh, in, in the university, eh, es un, un técnico, pero no una licenciatura, aplica como un bachelorette. And, no, so... in that case you have, uh, you can say, I have technical studies in, oh, okay. technical studies in uh, accounting, I have technical studies in mechanics, in engineering, right? So technical studies. That's, that's good. It's a very broad topic, right? El tema de la educación, de los títulos educativos is a very big thing. And it is very easily confused when you say, I have a bachelor. And you say, ¿Es como un bachillerato? No, it's a licenciatura, right? And then you have a PhD, you have a master's, you have a doctorate, and then you have like all different levels in English, right? So it is pretty complicated, but... I think I have a little mm -hmm. chart. Yo creo que tengo un cuadrito de, de los diferentes mm -hmm. niveles that I can, I can share it with you. I think I have it. I have to look for it. Pero lo Porque tengo. Porque una licenciatura es como degree, ¿verdad? Yes. Degree es como un nivel. I have a bachelor's degree. I have a bachelorette degree. Como un título o un nivel de. That's the meaning of degree. Mm. Okay. So. Entonces lo correcto es high school. A high school, a high school diploma in accounting, a high school diploma in, or industrial high school diploma. That's the most common one. It's the most understandable one. So you okay. can you can use it. Okay. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Thank you for your question. Well, so we have been working a little bit on the different areas of human resources, right? We started the different positions, right? The recruiting coordinator, the specialist, the human resources, the management consultants, etc. So according to this, you have a little exercise in section three, okay? Creo que ahora les enviaron un recordatorio del midterm, pero yo creo que ya todos ustedes lo terminaron. No sé si se nos queda todavía alguien que no lo haya terminado, porfa, completemos esa parte. Creo que ya todos ustedes lo hicieron, pero por si no lo hemos hecho, pues el recordatorio, y para empezar a trabajar en la sección 3, ok? So in this one, you have uh, the definitions of the different uh, 
the different uh, places, the different locations of the, the different titles that we have been studying, right? And in this one, I am going to mark it to make it a little bit faster. Here, the talent manager, the, the talent manager consultant is the one that oversees or reviews. Oversees is like está cargo de both the talent review and performance management processes. Okay. Talent review and performance management process. That is a talent manager consultant. El que está a cargo de revisar, pues, obviamente el desarrollo y el manejo de procesos de los trabajadores. This is not from the human resources area. The human resources generalist develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relationships disciplinary actions and operations. Eso es netamente de recursos humanos, right? Regarding the employees' relationships, the disciplinary actions and operations. ¿Quién le pone las llegadas tardías? Human resources, right? Sorry. ¿Quién le pone las acciones de personal? Human resources, right? The compensation specialist works in a company's human resource or personal department. What is a compensation? Something extra that you receive as part of your work, right? El área de los bonos, de los extra jobs, de las extra hours. That is the compensation specialist. Eso no lo ve la secretaria. Hay muchas oficinas que la secretaria lo hace. The benefits especially is very similar to this one. Is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Okay, el que ve todos los beneficios del empleado. Seguro de vida, transporte, bonos, everything, right? That's the benefits specialist. And the administrative assistant is the one that handles administrative requests and queries. Queries are questions, right? From a senior managers. That is the assistant, the administrative assistant. That is basically the different responsibilities that these specific areas have, right? That is something that you have here on your book, right? But it's something that you are also going to see in the platform. It is better if you see it in the platform as well. And you were sharing the different responsibilities that you have in your work. Before I forget, I am going to call the attendance porque estábamos tan emocionados eh, presentando que no habíamos pasado la lista. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Okay. And let me see. I have it. Okay. Compra hoy tu moto. Go ahead. Apply now. <laughs> Apply now. Aleida Esmeralda, go ahead. Present teacher. Thank you. Gracias al comercial. Andrea Sofía. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Blanquita. Carlos Eduardo. Hey, Carlitos, no está. Qué raro eso. César Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Eric José. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio. Present teacher. José Luis. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Eh, Carlita Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok, Carlita, hoy nos quedamos al final de la clase. Vea, tenemos nuestro teacher, one on one. I'm here. No, no, no. Yes. Ok, Carlita, eh, hoy tiene su one on one, recuerde. Sí, teacher. Sí. Ok, nos okay. quedamos, nos quedamos juntitos al final de la clase. Mañana le toca a Nelson y el viernes a Paola. ¿Ah? Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Here, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present, teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Eh, Wilber Alberto. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdi Alessau. Present. Thank you. Ok. 
Okay, good. Let's continue. Ahora sí ya podemos continuar. Con toda paz y tranquilidad. So we were working on here. Okay, we were working on the book. And here on the book, you have a, a short conversation, right? You have a short conversation about human resources procedures. And tell me, how often do you receive trainings in your work area? ¿Qué tan seguido les dan capacitaciones? Every month, every week. Every year, never, never, <laughs> never. sometimes, never. sometimes, every, month, every week, every week, that's so nice, every year, every year, never, never, you don't receive trainings, only hey. Friday, and the on, week. on Fridays, every week, that's very nice, well, al menos no, no me siento explotadora de docente. Yo todos los viernes capacito a los pobres teachers. Good. That's good. That's good. So, trainings are always necessary for you to improve different procedures, right? Different uh, human relationships, different skills in your job, right? There are many different types of training, right? Yeah, hay como the team building, hay social trainings that are like educational trainings, right? And it is good if you receive them quite often. So that is the conversation uh, related to the matters of training. Who are the two people in the conversation, people? ¿Quiénes son los dos de la conversación? Give me names. Mr. Mr. Perez. Mr. Perez and Jackie. Jackie. And Jackie. Jackie. Okay. Are they face-to-face -face on the conversation? No. No. no, it's a virtual call, right? It's a Zoom meeting, right? It's a virtual call. And eh, es que el manual lo hicieron durante el COVID. I'm kidding. <laughs> Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. And what does Jackie answer? No, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Very good. Now Rafael defended the team. Hey, Aleida, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, Aleida? Okay. I was expecting that someone else uh, did it. The group. <laughs> okay, aquí no ha pasado nada. Todos okay. están poniendo atención. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Perez. Perez. This, this is Jackie. Jackie. I have just come in. Just come on. Come, on. come in. Come on. Come in. I have just come, come on. I have just come in. Welcome come to our in. company, come Jackie. In. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks, Thanks a lot, sir. Lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I'm I, am, I am afraid. No, I, don't I, don't I don't answer. Okay, let me explain this for you first, and then you explain, right? <clears throat> Again. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. Hello, Hello, Mr. Perez. Perez. I have just, I have just, come, just come, 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 come Okay. Ahora ustedes no son Jackie. Ustedes me van a decir su nombre, okay? Good morning. This is uh, Natalie de Flores. Hello, Hello Mr. Natalie. Mr. Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Momento, corte, corte, Mr. Natalie. Mr. Natalie. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, no. Hey, hombre. Al menos soy un señor bien bonito. <laughs> Miss. Miss. ¿Y qué onda, pues? Okay, good morning. Good morning. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Natty. This is, and you give me your name, okay? I have just come in, okay? Okay. Aquí no ha pasado nada. Aquí no me acaban de poner bigote. No. Good morning. This is Natalie de Flores. Hello, Miss Natalie. I have just come on. I have just come on. I have just come in. Come in. Sorry. Welcome to our company. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Miss. Hello. 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 Miss. 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 Very good. <laughs> sir. Sir is like, yes, sir. 
No. Sí, señor. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I'm not I am afraid. Not afraid. I don't, I don't miss. miss. I don't miss. Good. Miss. Okay. Let me explain this to you. First, okay. It is very curious when the companies tell you this one. Okay. Welcome to the family. Your family. Now you are part of the company. Okay. Most of the companies have this culture of your company, your family. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you consider part of the family of the company? Se sienten queridos así por la compañía que usted dice, hey, qué bonita cultura de familia. <laughs> Uh, um, yes, uh, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> You'll be like, where is it? Let me see. Where is my, where is my line? Depend, depend on my voice. <laughs> Depending on your voice. Eh, solo recordar, vea, que, que este, los jefes miran el video. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Using Christmas. <laughs> Just in Christmas, come oh, on. They give me a... Uh... A gift card. <laughs> when they give you the gift card, right? No, a I bonus think Christmas. The, the Christmas bonus. Yeah, well, I really like to make my my uh, my team part of the family, right? I am always there, like taking care of them and everything, right? Espero que algún día cuando a mi team le pregunten, ustedes se sienten como parte de la familia y trabajan, digan, sí, yeah. Ah, esta teacher no te anda encima de mí todo el tiempo. It's okay. So, we're not like... Mm. No, teacher, yes. in my case, uh -huh. in my case, I really feel that uh, we have a family in the account receivable. Uh -huh. And the company, and the company gave us um, many uh -huh. um, incentives. In, incentives. Benefits. Yes. Uh -huh. Benefits. Yes, because we have a customer week, and during that week, uh, we have all during that, that week, we have lunch for every day. Uh, hey, that's nice. Yes, um, we we have um, como juegos, este... team building activities. Yes. That's and in so that, nice. yes, and in that uh, team building activities, you can earn money or gift cards, or uh, you can earn um, for the to go to the gym or for a month. Yes, it's, we have many incentives. And when you have the anniversary in the company, you uh, receive uh, a gift card for, for Super Selectos. Uh, it's only twenty dollars, but nobody uh, no, going but to to give to you, give you twenty dollars in the supermarket. Yes, uh -huh. That's right. Uh, that is an incentive here. And uh, the last time I was talking with Blanquita, that if you have an OT, an extra time, mm -hmm. uh, they pay they pay you uh, in double. That means. In, if you have one hour in your hour uh, is um, extra yes it's extra after your your um, your schedule work uh, for example if you work one more hour uh, if your hour cost or is paid normally two dollars and fifty cents you are going to receive uh, for that extra hour, the double, that means $5, not $2.50. You okay. are going to receive $5. So that is very important for us because uh, if you have extra time in the company, you are going, imagine in four hours, you can receive uh, $20. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, ¿A dónde firmo? Perdón. <risa> me interesa <risa> apúnteme I wanna work yeah. over there I wanna work there definitely right yeah. entonces like apúnteme pero fíjese que trabajamos hasta domingo bórreme 
<laughs> no, that's so nice. I am very glad. I am very glad that you have a good, a good, uh, an enjoyable culture at your work. That is really, really nice, and that is worth more than all the money. Yo creo que la, una, una buena cultura de trabajo vale muchísimo más que el sueldo mismo. So that's that's pretty good. It is necessary the money, I know, but uh, it is good that you feel good working in the place. So uh, in this case, they are uh, talking about how to request training, right? The things that you do, the different steps. Now we are going to do a little immersive reading, right? Because I have here some information, right? And I need you to read the information and I am going to ask you questions about it. Vamos a hacer un poquito de lectura inmersiva. Eh, here you have the reading and I need you to analyze it a little bit. Read it. If you have questions in vocabulary, let me know. And I'm going to ask you questions about this. It says procedure to request training. First, choose the training you are interested on, listed on the bulletin board. Check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Send a note requesting your participation. Number four, write the name of the training you need. Number five, specify the date and hours of instruction. Number six, Mention the place where the event will take place. Number seven, specify the price of the training. Number eight, send it to the human resources department. Number nine, make sure to include all the information requested. And 10, if information is missing in the note, we will not authorize any training. Tell me, people, is it important to talk about how much the training cost? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Yes, it's important. Yes, it is. What do you have to do specifically? The name of the training course. Aha, uh -huh. but uh, relating to the to the price of the training, what do you have to do specifically? Oh. I have two, number seven. Specify, specify the price of the training. Okay, specify the price of the training. No es que le diga, es que vale como más o menos 15 dólares. No, right, you have to specify the price of the training. Where can you find the list of trainings. Where can you find it? Donde la podemos encontrar? Number the six. Board. In the bulletin board. In the bulletin board. Very good. In the bulletin board. It says, choose the training you are interested on. Listed on the bulletin board. ¿Saben qué es la bulletin board? No. La bulletin board es la, el tablón de anuncios. ¿okay? Yo sé que en su trabajo tienen un, un lugar específico donde ponen información, eh, temas, trainings. ¿No? No. You don't have a bulletin board in your job. No tienen una pizarrita ahí de repente no donde les ponen. Ajá, como un no mural. Exactly like that. You don't have it, Nelson. We're going to make the suggestion in your company, right? For example, in the academy where I work, I have on the entrance, I have a little bulletin board. Que ahí están fechas de inicios, precios, eh, entrenamientos. So there is everything there on the bulletin board. Let's see. Is it important to tell the person where the event is going to be? Yes or no? Is it important to inform human resources where the event is going to be? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, what, it is. what point uh, highlights this? Six. Number six. 
mention the place where the event will take place. Who is going to authorize if you can go to the training or not? ¿Quién autoriza? Human resource. Human resource. Okay. Because after everything, you have to send it to the human resources department. But who can tell you if you can go or not? The talent management consultant. Very good. The talent management consultant is going to tell if you need, if you can take the training or if you cannot go. Tell me, if I forget something in the information, I will go to the training still. If I forget something about the information, I can still go to the training. Yes or no? No. The information no, teacher. Is missing and yes. the note will, will not authorize any, any training. Any, any training. Okay. If any information is missing, we will not authorize any training. Good. So here I have different types of training. Imagine that you have excellent customer service, effective communication, learning about writing, organizing time, creating websites, okay, and others. From these ones, de estos cinco, ¿cuál tomarían ustedes? Customer service, effective communication, writing skills, organizing time, or creating websites. ¿A qué training fueron ustedes? Organizing time. Organizing time. Good. Customer service. Customer service. Uh -huh. Learning about reading, reading skills. Okay, writing skills. Good. Communication. Effective service. communication. Customer service. Good. Mm -hmm. I know Raúl is going to go to the creating websites. <laughs> no, maybe another. <laughs> Which one would you take, Raul? Um, let me see. Organizing time. Organizing time. Good. <clears throat> so I have here. Tell me, people, according to this little uh, timetable that we have here, the organizing time training, when is it going to be? ¿Cuándo va a ser el training de organizing time? Ajá. July 15. July 15. Creating websites. How many hours is going to take? Two hours. Two hours. Creating websites. Four hours. Four hours. Four hours, Four hours, Four hours. right? Four hours. Excellent customer service. Where is it going to be? You see it you in like the hotel so center. In hotel, hotel, center, center hour. hotel center hour. Hotel hour. center. Good. Let's see. Effective communication. How much is it? Uh, the cost is uh, because 120. 120. 120. 120 bucks. The learning about <laughs> writing skills. Where is it going to be? Hotel center. At the hotel center. Oh, At the hotel center. Hotel center. How much is it? Free. It is free. It is free, it is free, it is free. right? Apply now. Apply now. You can take it. <laughs> the computer skills uh, training. When is it going to be? On July 10th. July 10th. 10 and 11. Okay, you like 10 and 11. It's two days. Okay, how many hours? 10 hours. 10 hours. 10 hours. Where is it going to be? In the facilities hotel. And how much money do you need? It's free. It's free. It's free. Apply now. You say good, very good. Effective communication. How many hours is it going to take? 10, Ten, hours. Ten, Ten hours. hours. 10 hours. Right? 10, Ten hours. From all the trainings, which training is the cheapest? 
the free free training the free, free training. training computer skills computer skills organizing time uh -huh. creating, creating websites, creating websites and, learning and, learning about and writing, writing skills, writing skills. <laughs> okay from all the trainings which is the cho the shortest El más Or, corto. Uh, organizing, time. organizing time. Organizing time. Pues si va a ser bien organizado. It has to be quick. It's only two <laughs> hours, right? Only two hours. Tell me, which of the uh, events doesn't have a date yet? The, the learning about, learning writing, about skills. writing skills. The learning about writing skills because you don't have a specific date here. Which one is going to happen soon? ¿Cuál es el que va a suceder más pronto? The next year. July 7. No. Which? Ah, the excellent customer service. Good. For our auto center, our uh, 40 dollars. 40 dollars. 40 dollars. $40. Okay, it's going to be on July 7th. And let me see, which trainings are going to take longer? Improving, improving computer skills. And effective communication. Effective communication, right? Effective communication. Effective. This is understanding information, okay? Esas son preguntas para entender información. I can tell you like, read the table. Practice vocabulary. Pero eso no va a suceder en la vida real. En la vida real van a llegar y le va a decir, ¿qué dije el training? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Dónde es? And you have to know how to spot the information, right? And it is good that you can analyze a little table. I really like this exercise. Most of the trainings are going to be in the hotel. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Most of them are going to be in the hotel. Do we have different months for trainings? No. When are they going to happen? In July. In July. In July. Okay. In July, right? In July. Very good job. So that's it information about trainings here uh, we can take notes about the trainings and the employees name and everything but i really like that you actually analyze and work with the information so in order to finish this uh, night we are going to practice a little bit of reading okay let me just move a little bit here and here it is okay let me share my screen yeah this one tell me different jobs that you consider dangerous people ya hablaron de las diferentes cosas que hacen en su trabajo sus responsabilidades and everything But which jobs do you consider that are dangerous? A fireman. A fireman. Or a, a, fireman police. a policeman. A policeman. What else? An electrician. An electrician. That's it, right? Which jobs do you consider interesting? A scientist. A scientist. Good. What else? A teacher. Ah. No. <laughs> no, a teacher. Lo siento. Interesting. Design. Designer. Research. A research. A researcher. Good. A designer. Those are interesting. A biologist. A biologist. Nice. What jobs do you consider stressful? My job. Me too. Customers. <laughs> accounting department. A salesman <laughs> is stressful. All related so to good. accounting department. I think when you have to work with other people, 
yeah it is stressful, stressful right it yeah. is stressful so ahí todo vamos de voluntario yes. stressful which jobs do you consider well paid bien pagados mm -hmm. your job development no. which one developer man the developer okay the user developer experience you say <laughs> no only developer Business. The, developer, the businessman, yeah. <laughs> If you have your own business, yes. Uh, yeah. Yo un día les hacía el chiste. An engineer? Okay. No. Yo un día les hacía el chiste y les decía. No. El, carro, el carro de la teacher, vea. Un Toyota. Yeah. Lácteo es la bendición. Una cuatro por cuatro. Tres furgones. <laughs> Tres furgones, right? A lawyer, teacher. The lawyer. Well, the lawyers. Yes. An architect. An architect. Yeah, it can be. Doctors have well-paid jobs. Yes. Which jobs do you consider exciting? Doctors. Exciting. The doctors. Yay, let me open the patient. Yeah. The pilot. The pilot, yes. The pilot, it can be good. The flight attendants. The drivers. Exciting. The drivers. The firemen, too. The firemen. Yeah. Uh, different types of excitements, right? <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> so, <laughs> difficult. Engineer. Engineering. Engineering, a, yes. A journalist. A journalist, right? The journalist. Yes. They are they are difficult. Which jobs do you consider rewarding? Rewarding is que, que te, te llena la vida más allá del salario. Right? My job. The teacher's, yes. The teacher's <laughs> job, yeah. Because, yeah, that was, that was one night. The teachers, I, I really like the, the, all these social related. Yeah, the, the nurses, the doctors. A doctor. The veterinarians. The veterinarians, good. Which jobs do you consider demanding? A doctor and a teacher. A doctor and a teacher demanding is like that. all the jobs are demanding nowadays. Yo creo que ahora todos son. Which jobs do you consider lonely? Solitario, mm -hmm. abandonado. Undertaker. Uh, <laughs> hay un trabajo, pero no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Uh -huh. que es el que cuida el faro. Ah. Uh okay that is like the light it's a i think it's a light light saver something like that it's called something something similar i have to look for it right but yes imagínese en el faro el todo el tiempo that would be like a human yay <laughs> when someone <laughs> comes viene siendo como el sereno uh -huh. yeah like the security guard in in, in the colonia right Hearing he, it, can, he, can, uh -huh. he doesn't have, or this person doesn't have to treat with customer services. <laughs> yeah, I, I always, I always make fun with the security guard here in the, in the neighborhood, right, right. Que si hay un chambre, así, él se lo sabe, pero si hay un problema, así, desaparece. The security guard here is like, y el vigilante, we? no one knows. They never know where the where he is. Ah, pero cuando pasa algo en la colonia, licenciada, ya enteró. And it's like, no, y no quiero. <laughs> he comes to my door to tell me. So, which jobs do you consider mechanical? Yes, they do the same every day. Fabric workers. Oh, okay, the factory workers, right? Factory the, workers. the factory workers. Fabric is tela. Okay. Okay, Fabric. factory. Fabric. Fabric is tela. Todo la, la tela, eso se refiere a la palabra fabric, es tela. But eh, tela de tela para ropa. The mechanic. And call center. The call center, right? Good morning. Thank you for calling Nivea Cooperativa. This is Natalie. How can I help you? And then you are the same with everybody. Okay. Which jobs do you consider fantastic? Um, Teacher. Astronaut. An astronaut. Football player. A soccer player. 
Yeah. So a, a teacher. A teacher. A singer. I, I think that that would be so nice to be around the world singing. Travel photographer. A photographer. Good. Politician. Good. A politician. <laughs> um, big mouth. <laughs> I will save my comments about it. <laughs> a reader, a reader, yes, a reader. Player, player NBA. An, an NBA player, a musician, right? I, 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 I know, and I, an and actor. I, yes, an actor, good, an actor, yes. On, on the week that we were in, in, in Washington, there, there was a movie rolling there. And I was like, God, it I want to work on that, right? And it was so nice. And I said, like, what a fantastic job, I said, just to be acting and doing things. That was so good. Also, people who are just traveling around the world because of business, I, I, I really love it. And I said, Meh, what a nice job. Like Los Munditos, teacher. Los Munditos, what is that? Los Mundos. Los Mundos is a family, a Spain family that were traveled from South America uh, to Alaska. And they visited El Salvador. And if you search Los Mundos in your Facebook, uh, you can find that the the countries that they that they are traveling. Yes. On ah. YouTube too. Take me there, my God! That is so fantastic. Wow. Fantastic. And they live and they live yeah. in a in a truck. It, it is a it is a I don't know if it's Isuzu. They building the 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 the, the house. The house, yes, the house in this uh, in this truck. Is oh my very God. interesting, and how, they have like a normal. How beautiful! <laughs> I yeah. want that job. <laughs> okay, so what about Theresa? What is her job? Tell me a little bit. Theresa Glass, what is her job? Does she work? She need a work. She needs. She doesn't work. She doesn't work, she's a, right? She's an art student. She's an art student. Imagine the artist. That is another job that I say. What a beautiful thing, just to be painting and doing. So fantastic, right? Theresa says, "I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday." And on Tuesday and Thursday mornings, I usually study, uh, sorry, on Tuesday and Thursday mornings, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Why does she need a job? Why because does she need a job? Because, because college, is, college very is very expensive. expensive. Karin Thomas, my husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save money to buy a house, take care of the baby. So I need a job I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. Is she working right now? No, who, no she doesn't. Who works? No. Who's the one that works? ¿Quién es el que trabaja? Her husband. Her husband. Is he making good money? Yes. Yeah. Is, is he making good money? Yes. Why? ¿Por qué pueden decir que sí? Que está ganando bien. Uh, she said. She said that he makes a good salary. salary. Good. Why do they need the money for? Uh, for for a house. For a house. For the baby. Okay, for a house. Okay. What job would you give her? ¿Qué trabajo creen que le iría bien? She knows how to type and she has a computer. 
uh, like a secretary. A secretary, good. What about Lamar? How old is Lamar? 16. He's 16 years old, right? And he needs money to do what? Why does he for need go the money? Out, for go out with your friends. With your weekends. friends? With his friends. Okay. His friends. With his for friends. Spend to spend Paris. money. Right? Chan, 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 chan. Take my money, right? Does he study? Estudia? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. When? What time? Yeah. From, 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 from 9 a.m. to 9 30 p.m. Okay, from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. What is the job of his father? He's, He's a, a, a restaurant. Uh, uh, restaurant. Uh, he has a restaurant, right? And he has a little bit of experience on what? About restaurants, too. About the restaurant, restaurant. restaurant. About restaurant work, right? So the three of them don't work, but we do. And we need to sleep, right? So it was a <laughs> pleasure to have you here in class, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for the next session, okay? They don't work, but we do. Así que hay que descansar. Have a beautiful night. Thank and I'm you. going to see you tomorrow you. in the next class. I'm going to stay with Carlita for the last minutes okay. of the class. And I hope you have a beautiful night's sleep. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. The second uh, check attendant? No. Uh, well, as I did it late, that's why. Ya la hice oh. ya bien tarde, por eso ya no les llamé por segunda vez. Okay. But I called you everybody right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I got I <laughs> got you. you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank Magdiel. You bye. Good See question. You. Bye bye. Yes, I call everybody on the attendance. Okay, hello, hello, Carlita. Juan Francisco. Hola de nuevo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, let me just check something so, ya me puse en qué pensar más bien ya vamos a ver si no tenía nadie nuevo no ya no se conectó nadie más después I was just missing Carlitos Eduardo que no vino y Jasmine que no se conectó pero ahí los demás ahí estaban ok thank you very much ok Carlita good thank you for staying with me in these last minutes of the class. Okay. okay. Eh, Carlita, ¿cómo se ha sentido estos días de clase? Ay, bien, teacher, aún siento que me cuesta. Es que me está costando bastante, la verdad. No sé si es porque tengo que aprender más vocabulario o, o practicar más. No, I no, think we, no need, we need to practice. Are you practicing during the day? ¿Le queda tiempo de practicar en el día? No, a veces no. Ah, that's why. Uh -huh. ¿Y había estado estudiando antes? Me contó, vea. Sí, estuve en el... En, siempre en, 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 en Insafor. Uh -huh. es en inglés para el trabajo. Corporativo, perdón. En inglés uh -huh. corporativo estuve, pero en el... En semi-intensivo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, estuve, ya, ya llevaba como tres, cuatro meses. Y de ahí se pasó para inglés para el trabajo. Pues fíjese que me, me dijeron que el, eh, la otra opción ya no, no estaba habilitada por el momento, solamente estaba oh. el intensivo. Ajá. Ah, bueno. Entonces decidí, decidí igual decidí este, eh, inscribirme en este para, para, para seguir, para seguir avanzando. Sí. sí, para seguir avanzando. Hay, hay como factores diferenciales entre los dos cursos, ¿verdad? el otro es como más enfocado en grammar, más enfocado en vocabulario y todo, aquí porque yo le voy como metiendo ambas cosas, pero yo le voy metiendo como un poquito más de grammar, un poquito de vocabulario y todo, porque este bien de logística, bien de cosas de, de trabajo y, y demás, pero o sea, yo siempre considero que es necesario 
ir conociendo como otros aspectos, ¿vea? Entonces ahí, aspectos, sí. ahí es donde yo le voy metiendo un poquito de, de, que, de lectura, de grammar, ejercicios, etcétera, más allá de los que están en el manual, para que les pueda servir a ustedes y tener como una perspectiva un poquito amplia, ¿verdad? A veces sí. quizás lo que afecta mucho es que como es tanto contenido cada día, ¿verdad? Es como un montón de cosas, porque imagínense, cada día vemos casi que como dos casi dos páginas del manual diaria sí. y más todo el otro montón de cosas que le pongo es como un montón de información and I think that if you don't don't review during the day and if you don't study during the day it's very complicated yo creo que tendría sí. que buscar un momento al menos en el día donde echar como una repasadita un poquito a la, a la, al, al contenido y todo eh, darle como un, un momentito ¿vea? en el día. A veces dedicarle sí. 15, 20 minutos eh, funciona eh, y, y a Uri le ayuda. Ay, perdón. No te haga pena. Sí, fíjense que eso me estaba diciendo Raúl, creo que se llama. Raúl, Ajá. sí. Creo que se llama que eh, trabajamos en, en, en grupo la semana pasada. Uh -huh. eh, me dice de que él aprendió bastante, me dice que y, y a un, uno lo ve así como que sin importancia uh -huh. en Duolingo. Uh -huh. Me dice que él practica ahí de 15 minutos diarios, 20 minutos, me dice, y, y, y pues ya, o sea, yo, yo tenía la, yo tengo la aplicación, este, solamente que sí, tendría que, que buscar un chance para poder, pues, estudiar también ahí. Sí, es que a veces en, es como buscar, por ejemplo, yo ya sí decía, sí. decía no, vea, eh, no, no vamos a, a, a estudiar esto, o yo me, me había puesto la meta de estudiar un poquito más el francés, vea, y todo, Ajá. pero yo decía, ay, no tengo tiempo, pero decía yo, bueno, cuando voy en el carro, cuando voy, este, que voy en el bus, por ejemplo, cuando estoy uh -huh. en el almuerzo, que a veces en el almuerzo uno se pone a ver que Facebook o cualquier cosa, uh -huh. vea, entonces en esos momentos es que he estado así como agarrando el... el otra vez el ritmo, en los tiempos muertos a veces, eso funciona mucho, que a veces uno está esperando el bus, por ejemplo, está esperando uh -huh. cualquier cosa, está esperando el almuerzo, en esos ratitos son los que, los que yo aprovecho a, a verlo. Ajá, and, and maybe if you are using some time for social media, for example, uh -huh. si estás ocupando 10 minutos o 20 para Facebook, por ejemplo, 5 uh -huh. for Duolingo, 5 for Facebook. If you have some time, Five minutes, even five minutes in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, and you have your 15 minutes of the day. Aunque sea irle sacando cinco minutitos, cinco minutos al cinco, día, diez ¿no? minutitos en los, en los espacios que tenga, o entre actividad y actividad, que de repente a uno le quedan unos ratitos ahí libres. Uh -huh. Ahí, entonces ahí es como lo puede ir incorporando, Carlita, y le puede ir sirviendo el sí. hecho de, de, de ir trabajando un poquito más estas áreas. De, de, sí de implementarlo y también este, ir leyendo como el gusto al idioma, porque a veces muchos me dicen, no, es que yo me frustro, que no puedo trabajar, que no sé qué, que no sé Entonces, cosas que a usted le gusten, vaya, vaya metiéndolas un poquito más en inglés. So, if you like to read about whatever, imagine that you read about music, do it in English. If you like listening to music, listen to music in English. If you like movies, listen to the movies in English, sí. right? To try to include the language on the things that you like. Yo hablaba un día eh, de estos con un chico y me dice, es que yo no leo para nada, no me gusta leer, yo odio leer. Yo le digo, ok, lea acerca de lo que le gusta. Si le gusta el fútbol, lea acerca de fútbol y ahí va a ir metiendo su lectura. Entonces, so try to do the things that you like to do in your everyday in English, right? You can start changing little habits, right? The series, the books, the movies, and the things that you do in your everyday, do them in English. If you have a friend in your, uh, if you have a friend who knows English, tell them, hey, si chateamos, chateamos en inglés. So let's sí. try to, let's try to do it. But in some cases, we say, I know, empezamos hablando en inglés y ahí nos pasamos a español. Español, so, sí. The idea is that if you start practicing, be, uh, I mean, keep it up, keep it up, continue the practice every day and dedicate, sí. dedicate a couple of minutes, okay? Dedíquele unos minutitos al día y ya va a ir viendo como el cambio. Uh, sí, pero a veces, sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. 
A veces... estaba, habla... estaba platicando con, con un compañero en el trabajo que al igual está en, en, en los cursos de inglés. Eh, yo le digo, a, yo a usted le comprendo, o sea, yo Ajá. le comprendo en clases, son pocas las palabras que a mí, que quizás yo me pierdo, pero lo que no, o sea, lo, lo que me cuesta eh, ya es hablarlo. Eso es lo que me está matando, porque si yo le entiendo, o sea, toda la clase, quizás son pocas las palabras lo que yo no le comprendo. Y si no las comprendo, pues ahí las voy a buscar al, a, 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 al, al diccionario para ver qué es lo que significa. Y ya, ¿Ah? ya pero uh, hablarlo es lo que mi, no sé si es miedo. Entonces me dice, mi, me dice mi amigo, no, es que vos miedo tenés, me dice, vos miedo tenés, Colocha, me dice, de, de, de hablar, me dice, no, me dice, no tengas miedo, porque si no, lo, si no, lo, no te aventás, me dice, no vas, a, o sea, no vas a salir de eso, me dice. So, you see, it is, mm -hmm. it is a matter of practice, it is a matter of practice. So, uh, it is important that you actually do it and don't be afraid to speak, okay? Mañana que iniciamos ya las, lo, lo, lo de las notas de voz, ya usted va a ser la primera que la va a enviar, ¿ok? So, be ready with that. Don't be afraid to practice and I am here to help you in whatever thing that you need. ¿Ok, Carlita? So, okay. thank you very much. I won't take longer from your time. Have a beautiful night and let's, let's continue working. Remember, dedicate a couple of minutes every day and practice with your friend in English and for sure practice with the voice notes that we are starting tomorrow okay yes. have a good night Carlita good night. thank you for your time see you tomorrow. thank you very much see you tomorrow yes. bye